Yo guys, Jinsk here, and I'm here to analyze some more games. So me and Seve just did a queue session, a very short queue session. We got a few more points, he got 25% of uh, the games, he needs 30, so we are gonna keep going. We went 8-4, 3 losses to a warrior that I swear to god, I shit you not, had the most RNG I've ever seen anyone, to be honest. Um, we are talking RNG in terms of Seba gets a root, I get rooted on it. And then <clears throat> he's recasting something and I get maced and, and then I get rooted again. It's that kind of RNG. I've never faced a warrior with such a lucky RNG. I have the clips. Uh, I can show you. Like uh, one of the losses was just me like checking my second monitor and the fat fingering uh, failed on at the start because I, I was like kind of spaced out and then I came back and I fat fingered failed on and that was just a loss because then the warrior just trains your pet um, <clears throat> and uh, the pet was kind of retarded as well the uh, AI of the pet so it's yeah um, and another loss was uh, oh the rank updated Another loss was against Lock Rogue because I didn't use the Skull of Impending Doom. I actually forgot, like, we queued in the night, right? So I was kind of tired from work and Sebe just had, like, uh, a family thing and it was chilling with the family and it was kind of dampened, but we wanted to get some games in and it kind of turned out uh, all right. So the I'm going to analyze, sorry for the big introduction, Today I'm gonna analyze Lock Druid versus uh, Hunter Druid. And disclaimer, you should win, but I've seen Warlocks lose or take maybe too much time. And since I think the clips are really good, like really good, uh, you it's like one of the best Hunter Druids in the game. It's a rank one, it's Drainax and Camille. Um, I, I, I just thought, okay, let me show what you can do to, to win the games. Because Draenax is one of the best hunters in terms of playing defensive. And sometimes can be frustrating to, to face a good hunter because it just lines you. Now, obviously, your druid can help you with the, with the hunter, with roots, and Sebe does that. Um, but uh, still, it's, sometimes it's very annoying if uh, they are just running around the pillar. And I want to show you like some of our best games i feel like this was actually one of our best matchups we faced a, a hunter druid before and this was by far the three best games we we did we won all of them and i'm gonna show you and let's start with the with this one let me just grab it i also have before we continue i also have um, Mage Priest. I don't know if that's something interesting to to see, but uh, the clips are fast because it's actually a good Mage Priest and they kind of all in. And sometimes it can be overwhelming. Um, <clears throat> so let me know if you if you want to to see that kind of stuff, even though it's not like how do you say it? It's not like uh, a hard matchup. That's really one sided. It's not like Hunter druid where the hunter can actually um your druid um i check some non-copyright stuff no copyright okay okay very nice so the general strat is just kill someone <laughs> now good hunters will do what uh, drainax did uh, against us in this game which is just dismiss uh, the pet. Let me put this a bit lower. <clears throat> okay, so he sees he's a lock druid and he just instantly goes to the pillar, dismisses the pet. You will see this from the best hunters. And the reason is uh, to prevent like a lot of Shadow Bolt procs from corruption and also not losing the pet because he will need the pet later uh, to to get pressure once he kills my pet their strat and their win condition is to kill my pet that's why my pet is parked here i'm gonna stop it 
if you see it here, my pet is parked here. I want them to kind of commit to the pet because if they go this side, like this side, my druid can come here and just clone him. And if they go this side, I just fear. Now you need to be very, very, very like the only way you kind of lose this matchup is if you get bored, and it can happen. Me and uh, me and Sebe, it happened to me like um, at some point I, I just get bored and I, I send the pet to get like a trap or something to be aggressive, and then they kill the pet. So you just need to to be chill. Now, since we got a fear and a clone here, I just popped the the trinket and I dot up the hunter. Now I should have been running here. And I think I fucked up my fear. Yeah, I fucked up my fear here. I CS him though, because I don't want any hots. Now I called the hunter here. In hopes, kind of. This coil is terrible, by the way. I should have coiled the druid if I want to coil someone to then get a full fear. But the hunter doesn't have a really doesn't have hots and he's in the middle so i want to keep him there <clears throat> so i fear him again now we get the war stomp into a fear and this is a very good um, cc now i faced these guys before i think and i know this guy is just gonna line so i start by just dotting the druid because the moment i come here it just goes into the pillar and this is the type of stuff you need to keep in mind if it's a good hunter it will line the fear and you can't really do anything about it because of the the trap now here i think i drain mana yeah drain mana i want to force him to kind of um uh go into bear or something and i know it's going to be a long game <clears throat> here i just park my pet here again and i try to dot uh, the guy i don't I get a full fear, he's half HP, so we go kind of ham. Now here I have Spellock, I think he resists the Spellock. No, he doesn't. Actually, he bashes me, we bash him. I should have feared from the bash, but I still get it, regardless. And here it's very scary for them, so the hunter needs to come out and he gets the NS. The hunter came out to scatter me. Now this is what good hunters do, they recognize when they need to go help the druid now he's going on the pet like you can see i'm in a clone i'm calling the pet but the pet ai it's so bad just look at the the patting on the pet this is why sometimes warrior druid it's harder than it should now the hunter doesn't have any any hot so i start dotting him up i try to bring my pet here and uh, i try to devour rapid fire i don't know if you guys know but you can devour rapid fire but uh, I got turns instead. I tried to fear, but he lined it, I think. <clears throat> I tried to devour rapid fire again. I didn't. He gets the silencing shot on me. And now I just heal the pet. The way this matchup happens is if they kill the pet, we lose. Now... <clears throat> He gets a concussive shot. My druid, uh, I think, trinkets the trap. And now we we go again for the druid. Now the hunter has full uh, full dots and is already lining. So what we decide or what I decided today was um, if the hunter or whatever is the DPS playing with the druid wants to do this, then I will let him do that. I'm not going to chase for 10 fucking minutes. Uh, around the pillar and if I get a fear I just go from there and um, align the aim shot with the pet <clears throat> I CS him this call was terrible because he's already CS'd <clears throat> I get a full fear and here if I have coil maybe we get a bit more uh, mana he kicks the clone so I keep draining mana this kick was insanely good because it allowed me to fully drain mana and now the hunter is half HP, the druid is 73% and he needs to get them both up. And he clones the hunter, which means that I can fear off. And off the fear, I can fully dot him, but he, he just feigned death. <clears throat> I CS there, but it was a really bad uh, CS. I can get cloned there, it doesn't really matter. Here my druid is drinking. And since they don't have a pet, they can't really stop the drink. He scatters me. I drink at the scatter to get the fear. And now we go again. 
and uh, we both push to the druid. He bashes into a fear, which I think he trinkets. Yeah, he trinket the fear insta and silencing shots, so I couldn't re fear. And now the druid doesn't have a trinket, which means I can kill him or I can CC him full and kill the hunter. Here it's very hard to control the pet because you're slowed, you can't really send the pet like in Wrath of the Lich King. You only have stay, follow or attack, so you need to be kind of smart with it. I get a full fear and um, he gets a trap. The hunter already tries to, to line, so I just go for the druid, like I said. I, I just don't want him to um, be able to recover, right? There I shouldn't have gone for an Immolate, because it breaks fear if you don't know, Immolate or a Shadow Bolt proc just breaks the fear. And I'm going for a Drain Mana again, because I know these guys are gonna play like this the whole game. Their whole game is just gonna try to trap and try to get the, the pet. Now there I devour Thorns because I couldn't devour um, the trap because it's behind the pillar like you see. And I didn't want to commit the pet to devour the trap. <clears throat> Here I, he, he tried to, to go in for a bash, I fear him. And now I do a lot of damage on him. I don't get the emulate, I coil him off. And if you check this, I'm so unlucky with the patting because it's keeping him, okay, it's keeping him in the middle, which is good. But at the same time, it's, um, tell, uh, it's uh, sending him away. And like you can see, he uses an S and is lucky enough because I get thorns. So he gets a full uh, NS. If I get that uh, NS, we win here. Now, here I'm mana draining because the game is over by now. He can't really do anything. And I should have seen that he, he still had Innervate. I, I just devoured. It was a mistake here. I get a fear here, I think. Or no, he's immune still. I'm bad. Uh, Life Bloom. Instead of uh, the, um, the NS. Now I think I'm going for fear. No, I don't even go for fear. I just go for a Shadow Bolt proc and uh, big damage and they leave. The game is over for them. Doesn't matter. They didn't get a single point of pressure on my pet. They they didn't kill any pet. They, they really didn't do anything to us. Because we played extremely good in my opinion. Now this is a longer game, like you can see it's 11 minutes, so I'm gonna skip some parts because it's just them running around uh, like this pillar I think and there's no points. Like you can see I go from b below because I, I always kind of want the pet to go below, <clears throat> but I don't dismount this time. I'm going in because I want to um, we fear, but he gets the stun. I trinket the stun insta because he's on top of me, so I get a lot of pressure from this um, this uh, fear. The problem here was actually the concussive shot. Now he sounds his shots. I get another fear, and once again the hunter is already lining, so I'm gonna re fear. I'm gonna dot him up. Dot up the pet because I know I want to kill the pet. I get scattered. And I fear the hunter here is too late on the... Um, I tried to line the clone but uh, I resisted instead. <clears throat> now the pet is coming and here they got kind of lucky I guess because they actually... Uh, I didn't kill the pet. But uh, here, if, if you notice, he didn't dismiss the pet. The reason is because they had no pressure. They are going to try to have the pet on my druid. The pet stacks uh, uh, Scorpid's thing, which means that uh, his viper will be insanely hard to dispel. Uh, so my druid, what me and my druid talked actually about this before or after the first game is... I think it was before or during the first game is if he gets a viper doesn't matter if you have a bullish just go bear form because a bullish is so RNG in dispelling in TBC it's not like in a rat I think in rat dispels poisons almost instantly or instantly or whatever whenever it ticks it doesn't really have a chance to resist I think I'm not sure now 
but um, since it's so RNG, it's better to be in bear form and spend like 600 mana than just uh, try to abolish it. Of course, you're gonna eat some of the of the viper things uh, while you're doing like a clone or something. <clears throat> But even if you have abolished poison and you're the druid, just go bear form. Because they also get less pressure on you. Because their strat, besides killing my pet, is also ooming the druid. They can't really kill you, so they try to oom the druid. He's dismissing the pet, and I fear it. <clears throat> and now he wants to clone me, I kick him. And now with this, I'm just... Trying to do some damage on the pet, he has one life bloom. <clears throat> My druid does an insane charge, so I can actually get the fear. And once again, he's dismissing the pet, and I'm like, okay, just dismiss the pet, I'm just dotting up the druid. And once again, he's near a pillar, so I'm not gonna waste any time with you, bro. I'm just going on the druid. Now this is unlucky because I'm already casting the emulate, but as I'm casting the fear takes him away. But we still uh, bash, I cast the emulate, I think he silences so scatters exactly. And now here, it's no pressure, but uh, it's fine. The scatter was actually pretty good, I still get the shadow bolt proc. I'm fully dotting, and now drain mana. I want to drain mana or drain life because he's already running to the pillar. Now, they're gonna be here for a while, so I'm gonna skip uh, this bit. Like you can see, like they are still running around. They are still running around. This is why I said that um, the hardest part about facing this comp, especially in Blade's Edge, by the way, in, in Blade's Edge, especially, it's like not being bored at this point. As a warlock, your druid is still doing stuff, like you see. Like, my druid Seve is on top of them, and he's doing stuff, but I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just chilling. <clears throat> now, here, uh, if ain't that's my fear, which is very good. And here we know exactly what they're gonna try to do. They are gonna try to kill the pet. The pet is up, that's why I prefer to have the pet down. Because it's easier, you just fell, uh, you just uh, throw yourself from the, the bridge and uh, you're fine with the pet. But here they go up and you're gonna take longer to get there than the hunter. I have Curse of Exhaustion, I think I reapply it. Yeah, I reapply it because I know what they want to do. This, year, this trinket was terrible. And like you can see, Sebe is seeding a trap, and I'm not even trying to dispel it, because if he, if I try to dispel it, the pet comes here, for example, and the hunter already has line of sight. Now that trinket was terrible. I try to dispel rapid fire once again, I don't. My pet is just retarded, I try to health funnel. So I just bring him uh, below the bridge, and they can't do anything. And like you can see, pets stay again. The pet control against this um, this comp, it's very important. Now I see Seve is drinking, so I'm just gonna stop the drink. Simple. <clears throat> if they don't want to move there, uh, I'm not. I'm gonna let Seve actually take care of that. <clears throat> I think he missed or resisted a trap. Now, the pet, I called the pet the moment I saw the trap, but I shouldn't have. But like you can see here, I can just heal it. And you can't really silence me. Because I was lining. That's why I lined the hunter so he didn't silence me. Here, I'm gonna get cloned. Once again, I'm, I'm using Devour like this to heal the pet because every time he devours he just heals the pet <clears throat> now here i'm already going sebe gets an amazing clone he's trying to kill the pet but i don't even care because sebe is free so i miss the fear but uh, yeah i still get it and now here, I shouldn't have casted this, but I do. Fear broke before, anyways. And now I'm gonna cast Fear again. 
I'm trying to devour the bark skin. I don't. I'm casting in, uh, incinerate into coil into a lot of damage. This is a lot of damage that he has to heal, and now he needs to to life bloom himself again. And the hunter doesn't have life bloom. That's why I spent my shadow bolt charge on him because I know I can get a lot of pressure. It's also very important to notice that uh, the hunter will always try to wing clip your pets. So if you don't have tainted blood on auto, try to keep it as much as possible whenever your pet is going to the hunter because it reduces the damage. It does it with the melee attacks, I think. I'm not sure if it uh, counts towards range attacks. Actually, I don't remember, but, um, but I can check it here really fast. Mm -mm. Attack power in general, so it's very good to, to keep this because the moment he wing clips the pet, it's the moment he loses attack power. This is very important. <clears throat> and I keep the, the pet, uh, like in these situations, I keep the pet on the hunter so he can't uh, do any type of shots like multi shot, aim shot, and steady shot. <clears throat> So here I try to fear. I shouldn't have actually tried to fear, but uh, because it's gonna be a very bad fear, kind of, it just doesn't really accomplish anything. You can devour entrapment if you don't know. And here I try to go, but uh, they are just lining once again. I see as the the druid. I can't get the fear. They both both get warstoned really good war stomp and i'm going in and try to fear no i'm not even trying to fear now i try to fear but i get scattered like this team plays like this and every single team is going to play like this here i removed mark hunter's mark because he just used a trap which means he can't trap yet so i just devour that a full fear and now i'm going to kill the pet I'm gonna get full dots and I'm gonna fear the hunter here because I want to pressure the hunter and the pet. I fully kick that guy. I tried to actually get my pet on his pet, but just look at the petting. This is insane. Like I've sent the pet to the pet and instead of going here, this is AI problems. I don't know if it's TBC only. I don't remember this being this bad in Wrath of the Lich King, but instead of coming this way and coming this way, since Sebe is with a pet a little bit to the right, and you can't notice this in game, it's just instead of being like it's not quite in the middle, it's a little bit to the right here, the pet decides to go this way. It's so insane. And this almost costed us the, the pet, I think. <clears throat> Because I get cloned, I resist actually. But I do get cloned, yeah. And now I'm sending the I'm still sending the pet. Here I think I've sent the pet to the hunter to prevent an aim shot. <clears throat> Here I could have coiled the the clone, but the pet was kinda fine. Like he got the aim shot, sure. But he's not on fear the R needs to come. And it's like I can fear him even if he find dead, like the pet is not gonna die here. And that's what I kind of do, yeah, I just fear. And if he trinkets, we can get a lot of pressure in the next fear. So here he decides to drink, and very well, Camel plays this well. He, he tries to drink, he knows the game is not going to end anytime soon. He sees my druid is out of mana, and since my druid is out of mana, I just go on the pet, and he needs to call the pet, and my druid can go drink. And now my druid goes ring, and this is where lock druid is very good. Is I'm shutting the pet, but I'm calling it from this side. I'm keeping, I'm doing this. I did this uh, little stuttering, so the pet came from this side and not this side. That's why I went here when the druid went there. This, this is the type of stuff you learn from playing the patting on the pet, but it's still very weird sometimes. And here I just mana drain. <clears throat> Hunter has no bloom, so I just uh, drain life. I think I don't get uh, the thingy, yeah? I'm trying to line with the pet here, and now I go for a fear. 
a Hall of Terror, I get on this pet. I actually dispel myself because I'm fine. My pet is fine, his pet ain't. So I'd rather do damage on his pet than uh, him um, than dispelling the trap. And I get a Shadow Bolt proc. I don't know if I kill it here. No, I don't. I tried to get a fear on the pet so he, he couldn't do anything. And here I just decide to go down, just dot again, and let's start again. Let's, they are gonna run, 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 run. And now Draenax is going over to that pillar because my druid was up here. Draen, a uh, mana drain again on the druid. I have a Shadow Bolt proc. I don't even stop to hit Draenax with a Shadow Bolt proc because um, mana drain is so good. Here I prioed the um, the coil into a fear because uh, I just have so much pressure. I got another Shadow Bolt proc, and here it's when I take uh, uh, Rapid Fire. This was kind of lucky. It had uh, two buffs besides Rapid Fire. Okay, here I was fearing the hunter, but uh, my druid said um, it was gonna clone him. I tried to get lucky with the DR, by the way, there, with the dynamic DR on the Druid, but I didn't. <clears throat> I fully feared the Hunter, the Druid is in Afghanistan with dots and my pet goes on him, and here I see, okay, if we get a clone, we can actually pressure this Hunter super hard. He actually dispelled my, my Shadow Bolt proc. <clears throat> and here it's completely fine. They are going after the pet, but his pet is dying. So the pet dies, he gets an S, he an S clones me, and the game is pretty much over at this point. I see S the clone, and now the game is pretty much over. <clears throat> this was a good trinket. He saw me casting, but it is completely um, and the hunter it's half HP, so the game it's just over at this point. And they run, run, run. My druid is drinking. I'm trying to fear, he gets the silencing shot. He roots the pet, the devourer resists on the pet, so the pet stays rooted. And yes, you should dispel uh, your own pet sometimes, especially when uh, the grasp actually hits your pet and you should always dispel it because it means the druid wants to drink i'm mana draining the hunter i should just to be honest just doing damage but it's like the game is so over at this point i get a full um, drain life i call him i see as the druids the, it shouldn't be needed and we just win I actually decided to devour the, um, the hunter instead of my my druid there as well. It wasn't a mistake. And now... And now let's go to the... This one? It's going to be a fast one. It's a one minute game. And this is when everything kind of goes insanely right this was the best rng game i've ever had in tbc i don't remember even back in the day having this much luck and you're gonna see what i mean now they start at the pillar always they start with the pet as well like he, he is not about that dismissing uh, pet life and they just run that's what uh, they are going to do every single time. Because their goal is to get you in a bad spot to then go to your pet. Here I try to run off fire the druid out. <clears throat> I don't get it. And here Savage just tells me, oh, just pretend you're going to go from uh, the other side, this side. And he gets a root, I fully fear, I get full dots on the pet. And this is the best case scenario where the, your, the hunter is feared. He's still in a root, but he's feared. I'm getting full dots, the pet is getting full dots, and the pet is running away. 
the pet is just running towards this side, which means that the druid, if he wants to hot, he needs to kind of peek. This is the best case scenario. Let's keep going. Align the clone, I get a Shadow Bolt proc. Another Shadow Bolt proc, which I do on the pet, fully dot. Drain life. And now, all of the sudden, the druid is already like. 80%, 90% mana, like my druid is full mana, or should be around full mana. He's already trying to drink. Already 80% he's hotting the pet because he wants to send the pet. And this is where it starts. Okay, so they want to clone me and they want to kind of push to the druid. Their goal in this game is clearly not even trying to kill my pet it's just going all in on the druid while he's seeing me which can work by the way all they need is for my trap to not be devoured a few times and they can get a lot of pressure on the druid and it's a 50 50 not even 50 it's like a 30 35 percent chance something like that because you they have mark they have the trap and they have fairy fire so it's pretty high chance that you don't get trap align the clone and here okay so usually it's terrible to trinket something like this and this trinket would be terrible but i recognized what they wanted to do because the way they moved they sent the pet the hunter is already more than halfway to the my druid and he this druid wants to cc me here while they push in one on each side and what they're gonna do is like bash into into drain and they are just gonna be super aggressive on my druid while trying to cc me so and since i don't have the pet i can't really cs that now he's trying to gain range to kick me i know that and as he gets the range i actually get the fear it was this is why the four set was so important and last season when i didn't have the four set if this was last season, the Druid would have kicked me here, and this that is about to happen wouldn't have happened. So I get full dots, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ham. I'm I'm kind of feeling this matchup, even if it doesn't work right here. I'm gonna try it, and I go ham. I reapply every single dot to snapshot. I emulate into coil, and I have a shadow bolt proc. My pet is already going for him. I coil, I get the Shadow Bolt proc, and as I get the Shadow Bolt proc, I have another Shadow Bolt proc. Now, it could trinket this, but this means my druid is already ready to bash. So I Shadow Bolt into Shadow Bolt into CS, like you can see, and my druid just runs in, he scatters me, but it doesn't matter, he only has one hot. My druid gets there, belt backfired, but at this point, like, okay, let's say he gets the belt, he survives this, 100% because he's just an SS, but, uh, and this is the first time I see belt backfiring, but it wasn't because of the backfire itself that he died, it was because he didn't proc, if that makes sense, so if the belt wasn't in the game, he would have died there regardless <clears throat> and he trinkets and doesn't even get the ns he sounds he shots me but he's just dead the moon fire killed him i want to show you again like sometimes using trinket this early it's terrible but you need to recognize what they are trying to do and you need to completely disrupt them so <clears throat> he's trying to clone me the moment i see the pet going for the druid and the moment i see him cast clone on me i already know so i align the first clone and i'm like okay now i'm sure the hunter is already running i'm completely sure they are gonna go not all in because they can't really all in in tbc but they are gonna go ham on my druid so i'm gonna fuck them up so i come up i try to tongues the clone but uh he got uh, the clone the moment I see this, I have tongues already. I know I'm gonna trinket this clone. 
but the next clone if he wants to recast i'm gonna kick it because my pet is just here i just need to call it so we can't uh, reclone he could have dispelled but he gets on global if he gets on global i get the fear before the clone and <laughs> this seems really all uh, really like five head or whatever or like really complex but it's not you get used to the, this and i get a fear as he tries to kick me and i just thought i recognize that this is going to be a kill so i just fully dot with everything the moment i cast emulate i cast um, that coil because i know that the fear breaks for sure shadow bolt into another this was so insane into another shadow bolt the moment coil um is about to end i see yes because he can i don't know he, he could have just shrink at the 0 0.5 seconds and get the ns so i always like to overlap just a little bit like it doesn't matter another shadow bolt proc belt backfired but here we can also argue that if Sebe just bashes, doesn't matter if the belt backfires, and he's dead. There you go. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, tell me once again. Tell me if you wanted to see the priest mage. Uh, priest mage can win against warlock druid is just extremely hard like i don't think i've lost to a single priest mage and we face like zandin and zonyaki in season one i don't think we've lost a single priest mage but uh, it can be kind of annoying or it can uh, like can spiral out of control really fast like they can kill your druid in the fear but uh, yeah let me know i also have a rogue druid as lock druid but it was only one game um i'm trying to collect better clips but uh, we didn't really get good teams beside this one so i just decided okay i'm just gonna show like a matchup that we are favored but it's like a, against really good players rank one fucking uh, hunter druid just so you guys could see how uh you play against the best players but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed it leave a comment tell me if you want to see the priest mage uh at some point i will do priest mage so i'm gonna keep these clips but um tell me if you have any doubts yeah say whatever in the comment section i uh, hope you enjoyed like the video subscribe to the channel and thanks for supporting um and uh, giving me love I'm less toxic these days. Okay, maybe not less, but uh, I'm trying to be less toxic, okay? Okay, guys, have a good one and nice weekend.